Okay, here we have a complicated setup with the end result being this glass of water running the Jewel Thief and my little magnet spinner. So I've got this uh, being energized here. You can see that lighting up and uh, energizing this glass of water, which then feeds into a capacitor. It energizes the um, Jewel Thief, which feeds into another capacitor. And that's running the little magnet spinner down there. Okay, and there's a little uh, potentiometer there to control the speed. And so it's this glass of water that's really the power source. I've got two diodes coming out of it, and you can see it's alive. There, if I put that lead into it, it lights up. So I've energized the whole system, and it's running off. Um, about five volts I'm getting out of this battery. It's a, it's a six volt lithium battery, but it's, it's putting out about five volts. Okay, just wanted to show you a um, little circuit I've got running here. I've closed the curtains and put a little pillow there to stop the light coming through. The point of interest here is this light on the Jewel Thief. So I'm going to hook up the battery that's running the Exciter Tower there. Um, you can see the fluorescent tube there is excited when it comes near it. And the glass of water here has two diodes coming out of it. And this glass of water is energized, as you can see, when I touch the lead down to it. And now I have that running over into a jewel thief. Okay, it's, it's charging a capacitor here. The glass of water is charging the capacitor and that's running into the jewel thief. Now watch what happens when I get my hand close to the circuit, okay? I don't know if you can see that light getting brighter as my hand gets closer. It's off, it's on, it's off, it's on. And so I thought that might be the capacitance of my body. Um, it's only when I get close to this, this wire leading onto the top of the resistor and that resistor is that that resistor is leading on to one of the um, wires on the coil. I thought it was very strange, and and it's not the capacitance of my body. I think it's the oscillations of my body because when I hook this wire up, it's a ground running outside into a stake. When I hook it up, the light comes on bright. Unhook it the light turns off slightly, fully. When I touch the lead, it's on. Now watch what happens when I drop it. The light turns off. Okay, so it's not the um, capacitance of my body, it's the fluctuations. The um, I think it's the rate at which my body's oscillating, which I, I think is around 8 hertz. And the Earth oscillates at 8 hertz as well. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, I read that somewhere. So I thought that was interesting phenomenon when my hand gets close to the circuit. We have light, so we have kind of a, a proximity sensor there, don't we?